Hey friends, Ram Man here. Here's some helpful information. It may save you some time and some grief and some money. That's our main landline where we keep track of you and we get a printed record and this is to transfer some pictures and yada yada. So, right now what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about the 44, Dana 44 uh, HD, often referred to as Big Knuckle or the Big Ball. Now, nobody, to my knowledge, we sell a lot of the uh, front 44s. Uh, I don't know of any people that have designed any disc brake kits for the closed knuckle axles besides myself. Maybe that's why we sell so many of them. We ship about 244s a week on average. And so, sometimes three. Anyway, so, the kits are very similar, but they are different. So, here we are, my friends. We're looking at the passenger side of the Dana 44 uh, closed knuckle, big ball. Uh, give you a reference, this is basically the same size as a Dana 60 closed knuckle, and I have one right out there. Very, very similar. So, here it is bolted up. If you'll notice that we had to pull a few more tricks to get our clearances to go on this. Like I said, it's similar to the uh, standard 44, but that big knuckle uh, proposed quite a few challenges. I don't know, several years ago when we did all this, four or five years ago. So, but we don't sell very many of them. These big old closed knuckles, uh, they're pretty doggone rare. And not everybody calls us regular 44 Dodge, Chevrolet, blah, blah. So, it's international. But, uh, so we don't sell that many of them. And, uh, it's a little bit, was a little bit more difficult to engineer. But, of course, it worked out just fine. So, anyway. So here we go. Here is our rotor all bolted up. It's a large rotor. Inch and a quarter. Off mid-80s Dodge truck. And, uh, of course, we've got these great big old calipers. And uh, this right here, my friends, is a game changer. So, moving this on over, we see that uh, we have just enough clearance. Just enough clearance for our inner pad. And, of course, you always have to make sure that your bushings are pushed back all the way because this is where your 3 8 plate goes. The 3 8 plate needs to be up against the caliper directly. Here, I'll show you this way. Remember, the leader's always up top. I'll tell you what we'll do for simplicity, speed things up. I think most of you get the gist. If you don't get the gist by now, you probably ought to not be looking at this project so there you go my friends here you go there's a disc brake kit set up for the big knuckle rotors on the outside the flange so there you go my friends you have it and if you'll notice there's no need to grind on the calipers or the knuckle, which is often the case on some custom disc brakes. Uh, but this is all just a simple little bolt up. No big deal. So, 
Hope that helps you out for some of y'all folks out there that was confused or what have you. So, yes, we have a disc brake kit for the big knuckle. We always have. We just don't sell very many of them. It's literally about 1 in 10. It's literally about 1 in 10. So, we don't ship them too often. The calipers, pads, and the hoses, and the pins set up are the same on both of them. But the caliper plates are slightly different. The spindle plate's slightly different. And we have a couple different spacer arrangements, which allows all this to happen and bolt together quite nicely. If you can tell, it's quite well done. I'm more proud of this than some other things. God bless you. God bless America. And happy trucking and stopping. Bye.